The peninsula Valdes unfolds over the Atlantic Ocean, comprising 360,000 hectares. The main landscape corresponds to the Patagonic Plains, whose plateau environment is broken by the close depressions of the salt pits. Peninsula Valdes has important faunal values. Terrestrial mammals are abundant, with 33 species being reported. Large herds of guanaco can be seen throughout the peninsula. Other species present include the mera, an Argentinian endemic, and the red fox, both endangered in other parts of the country. While the predominant vegetation is Patagonian desert steppe, 18 different communities can be found, representing a high diversity in such a small area. The number of communities represented in the area demonstrate its importance from the phytogeographical point of view, considering that in the whole Patagonian region 28 communities have been described. Some 130 plant species from 41 families have been reported with 38 species endemic to Argentina. Peninsula Valdes has many unique geographical and biological features. One of the interesting things about the Patagonia trip is the prospect of seeing several new species and types of animals. An armadillo is an unusual animal on the Peninsula Valdes. The Nuevo Gulf was known by English sailors and it was neatly relieved by Admiral Fitzroy's people from 1826 to 1836. Moved by the organization of Lewis Jones, Edwin Roberts and Captain Sir Love Jones Perry, on July 28 of 1865, 153 Welsh arrived at the Nueva Bay. Although few of them were peasants, their goal was to cultivate the lower valley of Choppet River and therefore their stay at the port was short. In a few months, they moved to the river banks where they dedicated to the cultivation of wheat. Peninsula Valdes was first discovered in 1779 by the Spanish expedition of Juan de la Piedra. The name of Peninsula Valdes, such as a large cove of the Atlantic side, Caleta Valdes, is in honour of Don Antonio Valdes, the Spanish Minister of Marine, who sponsored the expedition of Antonio Malaspina. The village Gaiman was one of the first settlements of the Welsh when they colonised this area of Argentina in 1874 and has remained a stronghold ever since. The park presents species endemic for Argentina. It contains habitats representative of the Patagonic steppe and the maritime coast, presents an exceptional natural beauty with indisputable aesthetic value and that must be preserved for future generations. The biological diversity of Peninsula Valdes is very important. The peninsula pertains to the Patagonic Plains ecoregion and is surrounded by the Atlantic maritime coast. This ecoregion concentrates a large diversity of organisms. This diversity makes Peninsula Valdes an outstanding point at a regional level, concentrating both charismatic and endemic species.
There is a phenomenal amount of sightseeing to be done in and around Peninsula Valdes and further south as far as the Chibut River. Much of these revolves around the endless cycle of migration animals, mammals and birds that frequent the seashore, although some travelers come for the Patagonian wildlife further inland. Almost any time of the year a visitor will find a wonderful variety and display, much of which can be seen close at hand. The cliffy coasts alternate sand beaches and pebble beaches, which in some points continue with sandstone shells. This location is a unique place in the world because of the physical qualities, marine ecosystems and Patagonic steppe. The enormous biological diversity it has and the presence of such species as right whale, orcas, sea lions, elephant seals, penguins, the marine birds and its land fauna make the peninsula a place of unique natural beauty. The 400km shoreline includes a series of gulfs, rocky cliffs, some over 100 meter shallow bays and lagoons with extensive mudflats, sandy and pebble beaches, coastal sand dunes and small islands. The coastal zone of the peninsula is dynamic, including shifting coastal lagoons and an active sand dune system with some dunes over 30 meters high. Peninsula Valdis remains for the most part untouched and is essentially treated as a national park. Peninsula Valdis is located in the province of Chapat, on the shores of three gulfs, San Matias, San Jose and Nuevo. This area features a peculiar climate because of the effect created by the Atlantic Ocean. Although it does not rain much in the region on an annual basis, summers are usually mild and the temperatures sometimes get very hot and then eases off in the evening. The area does get very windy at times. Treeless, with little but salt flats to be seen along the way, its hauntingly beautiful interior soon gives way to the spectacular seacoast, for which it is best known. This amazing region is accessed by passing through the narrow Carlos Amigino Isthmus. The San Jose and Nuevo Gulfs lie to the north and south of Peninsula Valdes respectively. Every year, animals and mammals alike return to these calm, protected waters to mate and raise their youngs. There is only one main route allowing access to the peninsula through the Amagino Isthmus. This access way has asphalt pavement only up to Puerto Pyramid. All the rest of the road, that traces a kind of circle around the peninsula, is made of pebbles dust and does not compromise the integrity of the landscape. Touristic activity is very important in this protected area. This has consequences on a regional level, with an important social economic meaning, since it is the main centres of touristic exploitation of the northeastern zone of the province of Chapat. One of the main attraction points of the Peninsula Valdes is the watching of southern right whales, since the peninsula is known for being one of the most adequate locations for this activity. Peninsula Valdes in Patagonia is a site of global significance for the conservation of marine mammals. All around this sandy promontory into the Atlantic, the beaches teem with life. The myriad of elephant seals, the sea lion colonies, the occasional Magellanic penguin and, of course, the famous South Right whales. The sea lions are also located along the shores throughout the year. Unlike the seals, sea lions are predominantly land-based and so will go out to sea for a few days and then come back to the land to relax. The main season for the pups swimming around is from February until April. 
the South American sea lion, also known as Southern Sea Lion or Single Hair Sea Lion, is a species that was intensively exploited during the last five centuries. With two bays, one to the north and the other to the south, the peninsula provides a tranquil stopping point for, in particular, southern right whales for both nursing and mating, away from the harsh Atlantic swells. The relief of the interior is generally flat semi-desert scrubland. There are no permanent streams and little fresh water. The predominant vegetation is steppe with low shrubs and plants. Peninsula Valdis and the Patagonic coast in general have been identified as one of the most important wetlands because of the variety of migratory bird species that can be found in these areas. Myriad other wildlife can be seen in the area, especially during the months of October and November, breeding season for many of its seasonal inhabitants. Large colonies of penguins, sea lions and elephant seals inhabit miles of coastal beaches, while huge whales are easily spotted meandering off the gulfs. The peninsula is an outstanding faunal sanctuary, where numerous species of marine birds and mammals congregate in its island-like isolation to breed, often in large numbers, and to find shelter and abundant food in the warm and productive waters of the peninsula and the surrounding coasts. There are few permanent residents on Peninsula Valdis, 300 of whom live in the small coastal village of Puerto Pyramid, who are now often living on tourism. 56 ranches holding almost 80,000 head of sheep are spread across the peninsula and wool is the main product. Until 1953, when the government withdrew its concession for killing and commerce in sea lions, large-scale exploitations of them occurred and clandestinely still occurred into the 1970s. Recent legislation for conservation of marine mammals has prevented further commercial killings. The legislature of the province of Chubut stated recently that the number of inhabitants of the peninsula cannot be increased in order to avoid any demographic modifications that may compromise the integrity of the property. The Patagonian steppe ecoregion mainly covers the Patagonia region of Argentina, from the Atlantic Ocean shore to barely across the border into Chile. The Peninsula Valdis is an outlier of this ecoregion, lying slightly north of the main body. The topography of this ecoregion includes low-lying mountains, plateaus and plains. It is one of the most suggestive places in the world.